guys and dolls and welcome back to Lily Georgia or welcome if you're new I'm very happy to have you we're gonna be doing my everyday updated makeup routine just want to put on makeup and feel better about the current situation that we are all facing so without further ado let's get on with this video a few moments later so I already did my primer and foundation because that's just easy and everybody has a different way of doing it so I just used the match the map <laughs> the mac strobe cream and then i used the too faced born this way foundation and it's in the shade warm nude so i used that together and now we're just going to go with our concealer and I'm, i normally use the magic star concealer in the shades and uh, in the shade c7 from jeffrey star cosmetics but because of delays on the website i wasn't able to get um one that i needed in time so i got this instead and this is the tarte shape tape and it's in the shade light medium honey so i'm just going to apply this all to my face and i have my mirror so bear in mind i will be using that to spot so i can see what i'm doing first of all so i'm just going to apply this to my face in the areas most desired I'm just going to blend this in with my beauty blender as normal. Alright, now that's all blended in guys, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Magic Star Setting Powder just to set all of that onto the face. So, I just need to get a powder brush and my setting powder. This is in the translucent shade. It smells like cotton candy, which is great, but I've been thinking recently like it's kind of much, too much if you use it as your everyday powder, um, which I do, but I don't mind it because it's Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but like if you don't want like an overpowering candy smell then i wouldn't use this every day because sometimes it can go up your nose and it's kind of too much but i don't mind it i'm just gonna tap that into the face slightly a little massage to wake you up in the morning i'm gonna go with our contour so we are going to be Contouring the face with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Recently cleaned it so it's not as dirty as it used to be, so I'm glad about that. I just used a makeup wipe to clean it, but I just didn't want to have like a palette that was like dirty sitting on my table, so I did that. I'm OCD, you guys, so I'm gonna go in with a Morphe Y11 brush and just contour. And I used to, I like to use the the three trick. So you start right here, you go in in the shape of a three and it kind of defines the contour better because when I was li when I was younger I used to contour but it was not the right contour. I used to literally just be like boom and it would be like all down here and it's like the wrong way. So this is how you know where to correctly place it. You don't necessarily have to lift the brush but just like go from here in the shape of a three, one, and then that's how you do it. And then you just want to lightly dust it over those areas. And all the way down. And that's how you're going to contour a little bit. And it's already like looking pretty good. Then you just want to kind of dust it out. Kind of blend it out to how you best you fit and how you want to desire it to look. But that's how I do my contour. And let's do the other side now. Okay. This is the Benefit California blush, which I'm going to be using. Just a pretty pink blush. And I'm using the Morphe Y5 brush. I'm just going to dust it lightly, and then I'm just going to put it on to my cheeks. Here and the nose. It's 
So that is the nice brush that we have. Now we're gonna bake with the Jeffree Star setting spray. I mean, Jeffree Star setting spray? How can you bake with a setting spray? That doesn't make any sense. No, uh, with the Magic Star um, setting powder. Bigger. Took me a sec, guys. Took me a sec. Leave that to bake in the oven a little bit, and now we're going to go in with eyebrows. I put brows in the darkest shade, which was number four, but I used to have brown hair, so that's why I did the darkest. I like my brows to be dark anyway, because it's more defined for me. So, yeah, I'm just going to be using this little spoolie thing. Not spoolie, this little double-ended thing. I'm just going to be putting it onto my eyebrows. E2 line brush. Memorised it, because I know it well. And we're just going to fill in the powder side of these eyebrows and how you want them to kind of roughly be. Put the concealer on. I don't need to do too much because um, they're kind of already like shaped but I do that and I also like to use this as the base for my eyes. I'm just going to put that onto my face right now. I'm just going to blend it in with a smaller beauty blender. This is the Morphe sponge by Jeffree Star Cosmetics as is the one I use for my foundation. Just kind of blend it in lightly. Not too much, but it's just enough. I do the same with the other eye. Okay. I'm just going to go over the eyebrows again, just to lock everything in place. Okay, so brows are done, and now what we're going to do is we're going to dust off all of this dust on our face, and we're going to continue with the routine. Shades right here. I'm gonna mix them together and just palette again. I'm gonna mix these three darker shades together. I'm just gonna put this on the outer corner and the crease. Okay, and now we're gonna go in with the 24A Artist Pass palette, which is my go to and I have been loving this palette so I'm going to go in to the shade security whack that onto the crease in the outer corner I'm going to do that in the same way or with the other a Morphe M441 M433 brush and I'm going to use the shade FOTD. Just going to put it into the center of the eye. Good. At first glance. The eye. I kind of dab it very lightly and kind of swivel and rotate the brush at the same time as I do it. So you get like the desired effect if you want a bit more. So now what we want to do is add concealer to under the eyes. Just a little bit, not too much. And you want to blend it in again with your sponge. This is a trick that I swear by. This is how to get, you know, the this is how to get the youthful looking eye under eyes when you go out and all of that. Like when you've seen someone, uh, certain celebrities or whatever, when they have that white under their eyes, this is how to get that look. 
so I swear by this I've been doing this for a couple months now and I really like how it looks it looks really white right now but you'll see how it looks in the end so it's all fine don't panic if you put too much just blend 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 sister that's all you can do is blend your best friend is blending I'm taking the Morphe Y2 brush and the Jeffree Star Magic Star setting powder and I'm just going to dab that onto the eye so I can set it into place. Okay and now I want to add mascara. Okay, and now what we're going to do is grab a smaller brush and the 24A Artist Path Palette. We're going to grab the shade Security and Seek Shade and we're going to blend it onto the lower line. And also in doing this, it makes your eyes look a little bit more bigger, so I like that. Here's my everyday look, but I can also add this if I wanted to go out in the evening, like you can skip this step. This step is optional. But I like to do it because I actually used to go to school with my under eyes like all black. <laughs> I used to put like liner like this and then go to like movement class with the under eye be like completely black. It was not a good look and I don't know why I went into like my movement class wearing eyeliner like all here and it was like 9 in the morning. I was like what am I doing? I used to wear really dark makeup to school. I just, I don't even know bruh. I don't know what was going on through my mind in that time of my life but like it wasn't a good thing so I can't tell you why I did that but hi, we live and we learn. And I'm not going to add any mascara to the bottom, I think you can... A highlighter that I actually had in school, uh, when I went to acting school in London, which was a lifetime ago. And this is MAC Cheeky Bronze, it's actually a really nice highlighter. I think they still sell it, but it's a really really nice colour and it has a kind of flex of gold and bronze in it. Probably why it's called Cheeky Bronze, but it's a really nice highlighter, I like the way it shines. Like already you got that little glow and it's just like that little subtle British girl glow. It's really nice, I like it. And then we're going to put it down the bridge of our nose. You prefer. I like to put some on my forehead. I don't know if this is the right place to put highlighter if you have pimples and all that. But like, I kind of like it when it like hits. I'm trying to put it everywhere that where the light would naturally hit on the face. And I believe that's where it would hit, so I like to put it there too. Which is kind of nice, I like it like that. Which is nice, I like that. And I'm just going to blend that a little bit. So that can really like hit where it needs to hit. Very nice. And then I like to pair that with the highlighter in this palette right here. I'm going to go with... Um, all Access and FOTD, which is the same shade that we use on the eyes, by the way. And just put it on top of this MAC Cheeky Bronze. 
just kind of see what we can get from it. And you can see that payoff is extremely good. I really like that. So I'm using FOTD and All Access, which is like a silver and gold shade in one, because you're mixing both silver and gold, which creates like a really nice glowy effect on the face. Who doesn't want to glow? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in with some nose contouring. You know how we do. I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M506 brush and my Anastasia contour palette. I'm just gonna be taking the two darkest shades to the right. And just dragging it down the nose. Where is my behaar? and then just dragging it down the nose. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna blend it with a beauty blender. This is a dry beauty blender, so I'm just gonna use the end of that to just blend it. And you just kind of tap it on there. You don't wanna rub it, because you don't wanna rub off the foundation and the highlighter and all the work you did before. But you just kind of wanna press it into the skin a little bit. It is gonna make you sniffle because you're basically like tapping the sinuses, you know? Once you have the desired effect, which I have now, you can just take that highlighter brush again and you can just place the highlighter down the edge of the nose again so it looks more stronger in the contour. Place it where you want to desire to place it. And now we're going to go in again with the contouring brush, which is the Morphe Y11 and do the two darker shades again. And we're just gonna contour the face now and my lights just fell. Oh, I really don't care anymore. My lights are always, my lights have been boiling for the past like three days and it's so frustrating because like there's only so much that you can just like keep re-putting re the lights up and it's just like so annoying. It's a battle that I do not need to be uh, in so I just kind of like don't bother with it because it's annoying. If it falls, it falls, you know what I mean? I'm doing this video and it's way more important to get the video like in done well then you know faffing about with some lights so I don't really care about that you guys I don't care about the light okay and now we're gonna go into lips which is my most favorite part of my everyday makeup routine because I have a few tricks up my sleeve with that um, just because I think I showed you this in my last video and everybody loved and lived for it. So, I'm just going to show you how I would do my lips. And then we'll do like eyebrow highlight and all that stuff in the inner corner after that. So, I'm going to take a lip brush. Take a little makeup wipe first and you just kind of dab it onto the makeup wipe. I'm taking the shade, what is this called again? I'm taking the shade Whirl by MAC. And I know they do a lip liner in this, but I could just do this with a lip liner, it might be easier, but I like to fully go in and control my lip moment. I take this with the, with the brush, right? Just gonna line the lips. Okay, so my lips are fully lined, and then what I like to do is just kind of take that wipe again with the brush 
and kind of just put it onto the white so it's kind of clean from any other shades because you don't want to do it clean. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take a any nude kind of shade lipstick, it could even be a liquid lipstick, and you just kind of place it into the centre of the lips. Um, so this is Creme de Nude by MAC. I'm just going to place it into the middle of the lips. Very, very, like so, just very quickly, kind of subtly placing it here. Just like that, and then we'll do the same with the top, by filling it in. Now we're going to add the gloss. This is Iridescent Throne by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And with that, we're just going to place it with the wand already attached to the product. I'm just going to put it all on the lips. Want our lips to be very nice and full and glossy. We love it like that. And so now we're going to do the eyebrow highlight. A Morphe M321 brush. I'm going to take the Morphe 24A Artist Pass Palette. I'm going to use the shade All Access. And I'm just going to put it under the brown worm. Like right there. That's perfect. Right there on the brow bone. And then we're going to use the in a, in a corner highlight. So we're going to use the shade FOTD in the front row. We're just going to put it into the inner corner. Just going to bring it down. Now we're going to take our powder and apply this to the face. Ever so lightly just dusting it onto the face. Like so. Okay, and now for the last and final part of this video, we're going to use the Morphe setting spray. It's all over the face. I hope that you enjoyed this look and use it yourselves. If you do recreate this look, let me know in the comments down below and you can also follow me on my socials and send me a picture of you in this look. I would love to see it and would love to interact with you. Follow my Rizzle page, Lily Georgia 21 I'm gonna go back on there today and, and um, I'm gonna go back on there today and absolutely kill it on there with all my content because I have not been there on so, I have not been on that app for so long guys that I need to go on there, respond to all the videos that I've been tagged in make some more content and just kind of chat up a storm on there so if you don't want to miss any of that i already have some crazy story times on there that i can't tell on my youtube channel so if you want to know those exclusive story times go ahead and follow my rizzle page lady georgia 21 and follow all my other socials that are all linked down below i would love to interact with you and i will see you in the next video my loves